Nick Baldwin for Severe MMA here with a top UFC bandweight contender who takes on Rob Font this Saturday night at UFC 226 here in Las Vegas. It is Hoffield of Sunset. Hoffield, thank you so much for taking the time. Uh, how is Las Vegas so far? How are you enjoying uh, you know, fight week so far? Good, good. I mean, we're cutting weight right now. Right. <laughs> but so far, so good. Uh, we uh, have a little bit of a early weight cut. So right now, I'm already in weight cut procedures. Sure. Uh, but then it will be better later on, less weight to cut, but so far so good. Is the weight cut going well overall? Yeah. yeah, it's going well, yeah, I never miss weight ever, so it's going well, you know. You're taking on Rob Font, uh, you are right around number three or number four in the division, you've been up there for so long and still obviously haven't gotten that, uh, that you know, title shot you've wanted for a, while, for a long time. Uh, what do you make of this matchup against him and why did you accept to fight, you know, a guy quite a bit lower ranked than you? Yeah, rankings doesn't really, you know, a fight, a fight, a tough fight is a tough fight, you know. I mean, he's, uh, I think he's number 10 guy. Yeah, good. It's a good good matchup. Um, um, I, I said it on an early interview, look look at the number five guy. The number five guy lasted 30 seconds. So what does that, what does that tell you? you know, what does that tell you? Um, you know, I do respect the rankings, obviously, but... Um, yeah, fighting a little bit lower ranked guy, no problem. You know, I mean, he's got the, he's got the nothing to lose, but that's fine. He motivates me, and I'm looking for a title shot after a win on Saturday night. What, what do you make of the actual matchup? He's of course a striker. He hits hard, but I mean, you're coming off. Right. You, you knocked out Matt Lopez. You showed your power uh, not too long ago. Um, you know, striking versus striking, it's probably close. You're probably the better grappler. Do you agree with with all that? Yeah, I mean, he's a yeah, he's a good striker. Yeah, he's got a. Linky guy, you no know, linky type of uh, strikes. Uh, yeah, it's nice, nice style. You know, I like his shot, his uh, his style a little bit. Um, yeah, I think I have the advantage, you know, uh, the experience advantage. But I don't look past, um, and, and 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 I'm here to do my job, and that's that's to uh, adjust to any style and be victorious in any style, and then ultimately to charge for a world title, you know, and then then beat the champion on his. You know, I, uh, you know, with my own style. What do you make of the landscape in the bandweight division right now? Of course, so we have TJ Dillashaw, the champion, fighting Cody Garbrandt in August in a rematch. Uh, I guess first things first, who do you, who, who are you picking in that fight? Uh, I don't pick anybody. Probably T TJ wins. Probably, you know, and, and if I win Saturday night, you know, it'd probably be a nice trilogy. You know, that's kind of like an envision right now, but. I don't cheer for anybody, you know, as far as, uh, you know, I, I call the champion. Whoever is the champion, that's who, who I'm looking to to uh, challenge. I know a lot of people are talking about possibly uh, Marlon Moraes getting the next title shot. You beat him just over a year ago. Does that annoy you hearing, you know, Moraes get getting a title shot or not getting one, but, we, you know, he should. Does that annoy you? No, it doesn't annoy me. I mean, I beat him fair and square. No, it's not much, not much there, you know. I mean, we can maybe do a rematch later down the line. Uh, with the victory Saturday night, I think you will uh, credit me again. I think you will catapult me again for a title shot once again. In your opinion, if uh, Marais gets a title shot before you do, would that be crazy? Yeah, it'd be crazy. I don't think it will happen, okay. you know. And as far as do you think Marais should fight Dominic Cruz next, is that a matchup that, you know, to you makes sense? Yeah. Yeah, it makes sense. Right. Yeah, so I was talking to Cruz earlier, yeah. Uh, I didn't ask him about any fight, but he, he knows uh, that's probably the fight. He's not getting an immediate title shot either. I mean, he's jumped me before. It's not going to happen again. <laughs> Are you surprised that Garbrandt's getting an immediate rematch? Yeah, I'm kind of surprised, you know. But, hey, I think, you know, that's the fight that they think will sell the most. I think he didn't deserve I think he should have fought like a... Like a Marlon Moraes, maybe. Well, you're taking on Rob Font on the prelims of UFC 226. Before you know, we get your prediction. Uh, is it? Are, are you a little surprised you're on the prelim card? Does that frustrate you or bother you? Nothing frustrates me. Nothing impresses me. Nothing. Uh, <laughs> I'm like the the cold Brazilian, you know. <laughs> I don't care. I'm here to do my job. I have my personality. Sure. I have my skills, and that's who I am, you know. Um, but um, yeah, it's nice. You know, we're here doing media. You know, I, I wanted to stay in the room. I didn't want to come to this, <laughs> but you know, we're here. It's cool. Is it annoying that you have to do this just the day before yeah. the wake up? Yeah. Do you wish it was maybe yesterday? Would that be better? Yeah, probably yesterday would be better.
Yeah. Well, I won't keep you too long. Hafiel, thank you Thanks, so much man. for the time. Uh, real quick, how do you get the job done on Saturday? We get the job done as we always have been, you know, doing our job. You know, we're just to any style. We'll beat any style. And uh, the victory is the most important right now. And staying relevant, staying consistent. Awesome, Hafiel. Thank you so much. Uh, you know, have a good rest of your weight cut and uh, best of luck to you on Saturday. Thanks, buddy.